How is everyone today? Happy Friday. Well, as you know, today is Fresh Makeup Friday. No, that, I'm serious. It's, not, it's just Fresh Makeup Friday. Just feeling a little joyous today. A little joyous. Um, so, for those of y'all that are new, welcome. Bienvenidos. My name is Elisa Love, and I have a little channel on makeup, hair care, skin care, beauty, everything glitterly, glitterly, really, but true, I mean, glittery and sparkly that I love. Um, hopefully you'll like the video and you'll consider joining our little familia and becoming part of our little familia. In other words, you'll consider subscribing. We would love to have you. So like I stated, today we are doing Fresh Makeup Friday, and I know I didn't put my board up. I'm tr in the middle of transitioning my whole little beauty area and trying to get things fixed and whatnot, so please excuse everything in the background and all the craziness. So for today, the um, makeup brand that we are going to be using is going to be Oma Beauty. So I have never tried Oma Beauty. Um, this will be my first time, but I've heard super great things about them. And they recently had a great sale. It was like, happy birthday to them, 80% off or something of the sense. So I did, you know, get the chance to go ahead and get some stuff. I got some foundation, which I'll be using today, and lip gloss, and then two different palettes, which I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use for today, but I'm excited to dive into everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully um, y'all have had um, a great week and y'all have been taking care of yourselves and staying healthy and everybody's doing well. Um, here, you know, everything's still a little crazy. We are opening up a lot of stuff um, as far as the government is allowing us. We still have to wear masks um, everywhere we go, but you know, staying healthy, staying good. So I have already uh, primed my face. Um, I went ahead and used a little bit of a luminous primer today. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Oma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. That is quite the title. Let's repeat it. Oma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I got it in the shade Honey Honey, which is T1 Warm. So we're going to go ahead and try this, see how this goes, and um, wish for the best. Wish for the best, literally. Um, I'll be right back with you. I know that looks really weird because I've already started applying the foundation. It's a lot thinner than I imagined. It's quite thin, actually, which is um, interesting because I didn't imagine it was going to be so, so thin. Um, but, you know. It seems like it's covering a whole lot, um, a lot more than I anticipated it to cover. So, I mean, that's good. My nose is always my issue for, makeup always comes off of my nose, no matter how I prime, no matter what I prime, like throughout the day. Cause I'm one of those girls, like especially at work, I don't like having to put on my makeup like 24 times a day. I want to put it on once, I want to be done with it, and that's that. That's just the way I am. I'm kind of like a, I love my makeup, love it, love it, love it. But I'm kind of like a no mess. I don't really want to have, I don't have a whole lot of time to like touch up foundation and touch up all that. And then I want to get like cakier than it already is. So I don't like, like reapplying powder and stuff. Of course, unless I'm going somewhere where it's like, you know, that's what I need to do. But um, for it being the thin consistency that it was, I mean, it's covering really well, really well. That's interesting. Really interesting because it's kind of watery, but it's really, really covered. I mean, really covered. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and get my mirror so I can see what's going on here. Wow. I mean, it's covered. Wow, awesome. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the foundation right now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter off camera. 
and then I'll come back when we're gonna get into, um, oh, I'm gonna do my concealer and everything off camera, and I'll come back when we're gonna get into the eyeshadow. Hey, lovies, so I'm back. So now we're gonna go ahead, and I already did all of the rest of my face stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my palettes. I have two palettes to choose from. They are both from the Black Magic Palette Collection. This one is the Savage Palette and I'll show you the colors inside. So when you open it, it has this lovely little Uma thing. So let me go ahead and turn this. And these are the colors in the Savage palette. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I think they're so beautiful. Okay, so that's one of the palettes I have to choose from. Ah, and I think I just killed one of them. Sorry, my palettes are my babies. And then the second one I have to choose from is the um, Allure palette, which is this one here. And let me go ahead and open that one. And this is the Allure palette here. Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and go with the Allure palette for today. Um, I feel like that's the one talking to me today, and so that's the one I'm going to go with. So let me go ahead and... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go with Romantic in my crease first. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, well, first impressions, I did reach into it right now and there was no fallout at all. So that's amazing. I'm going to kind of go in with a little wind windshield wiper motion and just go in really light-handed because I don't want it to get absolutely crazy. I just want, you know, a nice wash of color. Mm, so nice. Romantic. And it's really a soft color in the pan, but it's showing up really nicely, so I'm very excited. Mm. Kind of just going to... You know, blend it in a bit, blend it in a bit. Just like reach in there and get it all kind of blended out. Make sure it's, you know, even and great. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with a little, just a little touch of love here in my crease as well because it wasn't as dark as I expected it to be. I know I really went in light-handed, but I just want to bring a little bit of depth into it. Ooh, a lot of depth into it apparently because that's a lot darker than I expected. And I just barely touched the pan. So very nice there. Oh yeah, much better. Lots of what I expected. Much, much better. And I'm sorry if you, if I hold the mirror up to you brightly, I apologize. Really nice, I like that. Okay, now for my outer V, I'm going to go in a little bit with this opulence color right here, just really lightly, just kind of, you know, to give it more of a smudge, kind of sultry look into the outer V. And I'm just going to lightly tap, kind of go in and just blend in slowly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I'm thinking either Allure or Divine in on my lid. So let me see what color I choose. Um, I think I'm going to go Allure. It's kind of like duochromey. It's like gold and green a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with that only because I'm going to put um, Lush. It's not as 
it's not picking up as much as I thought it would on the on my finger but it's still showing up really well so go with that and I'll just press a little harder I guess and try to get what I need out of here nice and sorry if you're seeing all my mess behind me when I pick up oh you see all my makeup <laughs> that's funny it's very duochrome yeah the glitter I didn't expect that I expect it to be more of a and it doesn't pick up very well. I do notice that, that I have to go in quite a few times to get the color I really want out of here, which I wasn't really expecting, but you know, hey, I mean, it looks great. Okay, so now underneath my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and smudge out a little bit of this, um, if I could pick it up, a little bit of this green color, Lush. Um, I am a sucker for a nice blue and a nice green. Uh, for those of y'all that don't really know me well or don't know a whole lot about what I talk about, I am a huge, huge fan of The Wizard of Oz. And my favorite, 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 favorite character in The Wizard of Oz is the Wicked Witch. It has always been the Wicked Witch. I adore the Wicked Witch. I feel like we're soulmates. I feel like we are sisters. Um, so I've always loved her. And uh, so when I get a wickedly awesome green to use, I'm super excited. And yes, I've gone to see Wicked and I absolutely adore it. My husband took me one time um, to go see Wicked and it was kind of like surprising because he told me, you know, he'd gotten tickets and everything, but he didn't tell me how great our tickets were. And we were like so close. I was like, I was so amazed and emotional. And it was pretty much one of the highlights I've had in my life besides, you know, you know, wedding and childbirth and all that good stuff. But as far as something I've gotten to actually go and see, oh yes, it was so awesome. But um, okay, now in my inner corner, in my brow bone, I'm gonna try going in with this lady gold that's right here. We'll see how that goes, but I'll be right back. Okay, lovies. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, lovies, well, this is the finished product. Um, I went ahead and put on um, my mascara and my eyebrows and my eyeliner, and um, I went, to get, went ahead and put on some falsies from Kiss. I'm using the tantalized lashes. And um, I think everything turned out great. I did use um, a lip gloss from Oma, the lip gloss here. It was called, y'all know I can't see anything. And please. <laughs> yeah, mm -mm, isn't happening. It's a lovely, like brownish shade. That's the one I'm using. And once I find out what it is, I will post it below because I can't see it it's too light I mean look at that you can you can't really see anything I mean if y'all can see it great but I can't and my magnifying glass is over there so lovies that's all I had for y'all today um as far as fresh makeup Friday I do love the foundation I think the foundation is amazing it looks really nice on my skin it feels really nice, really hydrating. It doesn't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on. Um, the lip gloss is good. It's a little refreshing when you first put it on. It's like a little fresh. It feels like kind of like I'm putting on like chapstick or something. But um, really nice. I liked it. The eyeshadows I love. I love the eyeshadows. I think they're beautiful and amazing and creamy. Um, so yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised with Oma. Um, I'll have to check out more items in their, in their list of items. So lovies, I hope you loved this. Um, if you would, please give it a thumbs up as it does help 
me. Um, it helps for YouTube to recommend my video. So please thumbs up. I really, really appreciate y'all. And so I really do want to give back, you know, as much as I can, as you know, as often as I can. So I'm going to try to do a giveaway like every other, you know, quarter, um, every other two to three months. So we'll talk later, lovies. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all soon. Love you so much, lovies. Have a great and amazing weekend. See you soon. Bye, lovies. Bye.